This guide will walk you through eight practical ways to fix the problem when your iPhone isn't syncing with iTunes after iOS update. Tip 1. Try another USB cable. If the USB cable you are using is faulty, iTunes will not detect your iPhone and sync your iPhone data. Please check and try another original USB cord to connect your iPhone to computer to sync with iTunes again. Tip 2. Update iTunes to the latest version. If you are running an old iTunes version, please upgrade your iTunes to the newest version. To do so, you can download the latest iTunes from Apple official website or directly go to help check for updates on iTunes window to get the latest iTunes version. Tip 3. iTunes Authorization To access your iTunes content on your computer, you need to authorize the PC through iTunes. If you run into syncing problems, it might help to reauthorize the computer. Authorizing your system lets you download apps, music, and audiobooks without any trouble. It's like giving your computer permission to use the things you've purchased with your Apple ID. Tip 4. Use Wireless Syncing Method If iTunes can't sync your iPhone through a USB cable, you can try syncing over Wi-Fi instead. Open iTunes on your computer. Go to your device's summary page and check the option that says sync with this iPhone over Wi-Fi. After that, pick up your iPhone, go to settings, tap general, then choose iTunes Wi-Fi sync and tap sync now. Just make sure your iPhone and computer are connected to the same Wi-Fi network. The wireless sync won't work if they're on different networks. Tip 5. Restart your iPhone, iTunes, and computer. If you're having minor issues, a good first step is to restart your iPhone, iTunes, and computer. This can clear up small problems and get everything running more smoothly. Once you've restarted all three, open iTunes again and see if it works better. Tip 6. Create a new iTunes library. If iTunes won't sync with your iPhone, the library might be damaged. Try these steps to create a new one. 1. Hold the Shift key and open iTunes. When a window appears, click Create Library, then reopen iTunes. 2. Go to Music iTunes on your computer. Find iTunes Library, it'll and rename it to something like Old Library. 3. Open the previous iTunes Libraries folder. Copy the newest file you see there. 4. Paste that file back into the main iTunes folder. Rename it to iTunes Library. It'll. Now, try syncing your iPhone again. Tip 7. Update drivers. Old or missing drivers can sometimes cause problems. Here's how to check and update them. 1. Press the Windows key and the X key at the same time. 2. Choose Device Manager from the menu that appears. 3. Find portable devices in the list and click it. 4. Right-click on Apple iPhone and select Update Driver. Tip 8. Disable Apple Music Options. To avoid issues during the sync process, it's a good idea to turn off the Apple Music feature on both your iPhone and in iTunes. On your iPhone, you can find this setting in the main settings app. In iTunes, it's located under the General Preferences menu. Some users have found that Apple Music can interfere with syncing, and many experts suggest disabling it to make the process smoother and more reliable. Tip 9. Factory Reset Your iPhone If nothing else has worked to fix the issue of your iPhone not syncing with iTunes, doing a factory reset might help. This should be your last option because it will remove everything from your device, including your apps, photos, and settings. To reset your iPhone, go to Settings, tap General, then choose Transfer or Reset iPhone and select Erase All Content and Settings. This will return your iPhone to the state it was in when you first bought it. Tip 10. An alternative way to sync iPhone to computer without iTunes. To make things easier, it's a smart idea to use Coolmuster iOS Assistant to handle the syncing for you. With this tool, you can move data between your iPhone and computer without needing iTunes at all. 1. Download the corresponding Coolmuster iOS Assistant program that is compatible with your PC or Mac. Then connect your iPhone to your system using a USB data cable. After launching the program, it will automatically detect the connected iPhone. 2. The left column of the program will display a list of supported iPhone file categories, where you can select the data categories you need to back up. 3. After waiting for a short scan to end, you can preview and check the data you need to back up and click the export button. You have to wait for a while for the backup to be successfully completed. Do not disconnect the device before the backup process is over.